Hello everybody, welcome to week 9 of Era BB. We've got Tapioca King with a wizard and a bribe for his orcs up against Elyod with his very nice wood elf team. Well, I say wood elf, very nice wood elf team. Um, Elyod really only has three good players. He's got uh, kind of four now, right? He's kind of got four. He's got the Adge, Blodge, two dancers and a really nice catcher. So he's got Glorious. four good players. No, I won't give in until I'm and, uh, victorious. And I will defend. No, I used to have I three good defend. players, and now I've got two. W O O O intro interruptus. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Faulty. <laughs> intro interruptus. Yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> you can behave now because the intro is over. The only thing that matters is the intro. But yes, thank you very much for staying fantastic, Faulty, for forty-four glorious minutes. Amazing. And yeah, there's no Mr. Throw here for the Orcs. Maybe they should have bought a Mr. Throw instead of getting this bribe. Maybe they should have just got a just bought a throw just so he doesn't get stripped. Um, but there you go. Or he could have had like a sure hands block. He could have he could have induced a sure hands block Mr. Throw or something. Just to make things a little bit uh, a little bit safer. You did twice. Uh, the problem is though, you've got to get me to play Battle Brothers. Uh, I've been thinking of doing some Battle Brothers. Honestly, I've been, I've been somewhat active in the Battle Brothers Reddit. I did start. I did load up a game. I started a game of Battle Brothers, and uh, I got the best guy you can possibly hire. One of the one of the absolute best guys you can possibly hire in the early game. A two hundred ninety uh, gold. Manhunter comes with a net, uh, militia background essentially, militia and uh, manhunter is essentially the same background, so only 290 gold, that's a, one of the best value hires you can possibly get in Battle Brothers. So I'm, I'm excited to uh, start streaming and buy that guy and some other people and uh, play some Battle Brothers, there you go. Anyway, back to this game. Uh, Tapioca went punch, 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 and Elliot is going to punch back and make a Kaz probably because he's got Mighty Blow. Yep. Classic. Classic Wood Elves out bashing the Orcs. <laughs> it's so boringly predictable, isn't it? The guy with the the guy with the tackle pom does nothing, <laughs> and then the Elves just make a removal. <laughs> Classic. Battle Beavers does nothing. Tapioca not getting the look of Sicker's Eggs yet, but you never know. Yeah, here Elliot is both. <laughs> Elliot is the elves and the orcs in this match. Yeah. Is he going to put in a massive foul? I would. Sure, looks like he is. I lost my witch elf because I was trying to get a big foul in. Just quietly. Wait, is he not fouling? Is it literally not fouling? Because like moving that guy, it looked like he was going to foul. He could have had a, a four assist foul. And I think that was worth a four assist foul, honestly. Even with only 11 players. Yeah. Yeah, he needs his DPS too. And he's not he's dodging with his tackle pommel. Okay, this is where this is where Sicker's egg strategy differed from uh, Tapioca's. Uh, he was blitzing with his tackle pommel, whereas Tapio is dodging with his. One of those is more likely to kill players than the others. Believe it or not. Hey. 
A block was dodged. He blitzed with the uh, he blitzed with the uh, black hole. That's turned it up here. But not with his pommer. Uh, he can 3D here, right? The problem is he doesn't really want to put him into the uh, tree. So he's, yeah, he's just going to 2D him. <laughs> and dub skulls. <laughs> doesn't follow! Kaz is anywhere. So I, when people do this, I get it, right? The reason that people who do this do this is because they think, you know, I haven't got much tackle. I want to be able to tackle them if they come for my balls and stuff. And I should have... This... What the hell? Did he run out of time? What the fuck happened here? It looked like he was making, like, a cage here for him to go forward a bit. And instead, this guy isn't caged. The ball isn't caged. Ball could have been here, guard here, player here, and then and then he's caging the killer. That's what I thought he wanted to do, cage the killer. And he's just, he's, what's this? What? What? Well, I mean, he's got away with it. But even then, he should still be, like, just too up anyway. That's weird. What? So just mash in here, I think mash in and probably hit the wrestler, even though you don't want to. Or hit the catcher. I mean, defenseless is okay, right? Now you're just letting him get based off him, which is not what you want. Hello, red hair. Yep, I mean, Elliot is Mr. Conservative, isn't he? And also to leave, because he doesn't want his players to play. So, you know, playing conservatively has additional benefit in the league anyway. This is nice, actually, isn't having this Black Oak here, because the Black Oak can be, like, stood on this, on this column, so he can't get pushed into the tree and hold it very well. So now I think you definitely blitz this guy because then it lets you get in on all these three squares here, but it's just he's just not moving, is he? He's just not moving forward. I think blitzing this one is in, he's not gonna do it. So I think this was the better blitz. I mean he gets further forward here, so maybe this is the better blitz anyway, actually. He's not following! You've got fucking piling on! <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty sad to see my team shattered by getting piled on every turn and then Tapio's not even piling. Go forward! Why aren't you going forward? Stand here! <laughs> oh, so now, I mean, he's just trying to get out of this nil-nil, isn't he? He's just literally trying to get out of this half at nil-nil. And now Elliot's just going to try and score, I think. What a waste of a full cost skill, yeah. And you're just maximizing blocks. It's got to think about scoring, though, right? This catcher, maybe. Elliot's got to be thinking about scoring on defense here. Loner? Yeah, he's got three rerolls, that's why. So we've got a hit on the uh, a hit on the dancer. A pom hit on the dancer. Reroll. Yes. Kill him. Get him. Get to the cars. I mean, not following was fine in the end where he's when he sidestepped, but um, followed anyway. All right, 
pretty nice, but I mean, he just can't score because he, he made up the, his mind last turn and he, he just wasn't going to be able to score them. He didn't get out of the half at nil nil. Maybe uh, this Black Oak double GFIs. Uh, Black Oak could have like uh, 5 plus 4 plus dodged and double GFI'd and stood here. <laughs> Maybe being a scoring threat. <laughs> yeah, he had to be way more aggro, right? He had to wade in. He had to wade in, get palming every turn. You know, do a bit of basing. Use his guard to muscle muscle forward. Don't don't like be like this. Get sma smash in as much as possible. Uh, pom, and then obviously he can use the wizard to get through as well, or to recover whatever. Like use his bribe, get fouling every turn. Like he had to be way more. Way more aggro than this. Because um, he just didn't come close to. He didn't cross the, he didn't cross the LOS. <laughs> Hello, Chugs. Elliot protecting his best players. If only somebody else could have done that. Stops the KO rolls. Wait a minute. <laughs> and he's got nobody killed. He's got one killed. Nothing. Do a pass. an extra plus one, couldn't he? I think it's better to leave this for the second half, but some people like fouling uh, fouling <laughs> Like, you know, he's good against orcs, right? The strength the strength six is really good against orcs. Gets his black orc back. This is actually they are actually black orcs, aren't they, in Blood Bowl 2, so there you go. Not biggins. Not biggins yet. Will Eliod Daka versus the Wizard? That's the question. Or will he bang it in early? What will he do? Took Fend on his dance. Interesting. That sure looks like a Daka. <laughs> Maybe not. Not a Daka. It looked like a Daka, but it's not. Uh, food, Don Nicholas. That's what you're looking for there, food. P. Diddy, flip me. So maybe he set up and he was going to Daka and then he changed his mind. You're welcome. You're welcome. Schnitzel, obviously. Obviously Schnitzel. Imagine being German and asking what to eat. Why the fuck do Germans eat curry first, honestly? Honestly. Went fr from the land with Schnitzel and Rouladen and you're going to have some fucking shitty curry first. Ridiculous. It's the worst. It's it's the worst. Honestly, it's the worst. It's like it's so shit. It's just literally so shit. Like it's it's terrible. Yeah, me too, red hair. I've never been so disappointed in my entire life. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> right? <laughs> they've got Derna, and they're like, oh, we've got curry verse. Like, imagine that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Flip me, guys. Proper shit. Honestly, it's proper shit. I just don't understand. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Chicken broccoli rice, yeah. Oh man, the screen shake. Like, it's just like a normal fucking thing. Like, it's something you'd get in fucking England, honestly. Like... <laughs> Nothing special in England. Yeah, shitty sausage is shitty. Yeah, right, I'm sure. I remember I had Kaiserwurst when I was uh, in Germany when I was a little kid. And that was amazing. <laughs> right, MC crew? <laughs> Honestly, Curryverse wouldn't like it. W wouldn't be it. Wouldn't be out of place in like an English takeaway. That's how shit it is. <laughs> That's how shit it is. If I didn't know, I'd think that was that was English food. That's how bad it was. <laughs> Gets the bribe. Magnet du twat, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Good bit of twat magnet. I mean, it is great, isn't it? It's a great twat magnet. Eliod. Eliod let his, let his two skill tree get killed, and he's like, I don't even want a tree man. And then he, and then he bought it back the next game. <laughs> he's like, Yeah, I like. <laughs> Fucking love a tree. <laughs> I haven't started the uh, art impersonation yet, but uh, it's something I'm thinking about. Something I'm thinking about. Or thinking about, seeing as we're doing Aero BB. I'm thinking about the art impersonation. Oh man, fucking Elliot getting to Dakar. Maybe he's actually dackered. But I, I got to surf. I got to surf a blitzer, didn't I, in turn one? So that's why I didn't dacker. Plus, dacker versus a wizard is a bit fucking dodgy, honestly. If your opponent actually defends and doesn't just uh, foul the uh, tree for the first three turns. Attacks inside. I don't understand, Lord. I don't understand this formation either, just 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 do a do a normal one, obviously. But I guess they can all move up and do a normal one next turn. And use the wizard. I just straight use the wizard now. Oh wow, do play skulls, gotta re-roll that. So maybe the wizard this turn. So Elliot's using Elliot's using the space. See, this is the thing because he got that because he got those fouls. He had this extra space to stagger out the thing, and make himself immune to a wizard. Clever Elliot. I think you've just got to have these at that level, right? Because he's got guard. Have him level. Don't don't have him back. He's not doing anything bad. There's no frenzy for uh, Elliot. So have these guys move forward. Have a stand firm on the edge. Elf, look at that. Elf the streaker. Nobody wants to see that. But enjoy your points. Doesn't follow again. And then goes through. What are you doing, Tapioca? You gotta be joking me. Yeah, I do randomly go live. Sorry, Elf. I do apologize.
Muppet's got them on. Muppet's nailed seven in a row. Muppet is the best streaker. <laughs> Woohoo! Look, Elliot playing around the wizard. What a scumbag. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. So I didn't like the wizard, and it rolled shit. <laughs> so double, double bad wizard there. I think, like, no, wait another turn and then use it next turn. Anatomist. Wow. Flip me. I like doing the uh, Sunken Library earlier so that you can get... Because the shield's amazing, isn't it? The shield. The shield is like... Whoa. Reproach guy. Reproach guy uses the shield. For me. Chugman milk, in fact. I make this character in all of my runs. Not normally as good as Chug Chugman Milk, of course. But I uh I always make this character here. And uh that's the build. And uh yeah, it's pretty good. Oh well, I don't, he doesn't always have that armor either, right? He's normally got worse armor than that because uh, it's normally not Davco. It's normally uh, and it's normally Steelbrow, right? It's normally it's normally Battleforge and Steelbrow. Yeah, stores the armor. Yeah, well remembered, Odon. Yeah, stores the armor. <laughs> I think he was like a double gunner as well. And he just became armor. <laughs> And we got the overcommit from Tapioca into a uh, brutal exploitation from Eliod. And now, yep, this is, uh, some might say it's over. Like, this is the thing, this is where Eliod would say it's not over, right? But, if you're Tapioca here, you've got to realize that it's over. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got to play extreme. Like, this guy had to double G if I had to blitz this one, right? This guy had to double G if I blitz this catcher. And he had to, like, G if I with everybody and just do loads of rolls and, like, just do, like, a million things to try and get this game back because he's literally... He's, you know, he's about to lose next turn. So, as much as Elliot loves to say, it's not over. And when it technically isn't, it's absolutely imperative that you realise when it's basically over. <laughs> I'm not even getting in. No. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, not, not terrible, not terrible. I mean, I would just run back, though. But yeah, he, he shot his bolt too early, I think. I think that was the problem. The old one does nothing. <laughs> I thought the dance ran dauntless. And there's the leap. And there's the run, and... Unfortunately, this guy didn't go back. <laughs> and not only did he not go back, he was left to be tagged by a tree man. Oh. Shitty fan, yeah, I should have taken Dauntless. What a big nerd. He actually mostly did alright, he actually mostly did okay, but again, I would have blitzed that guy with the. Uh, I would have double G if I blitzed that guy. And I definitely, you know, if I'd done everything the same as him, this guy would have gone back with right next to him, right? So that you've got, you can't tag them both out and stuff. This, this guy was here, I think, somewhere like here. He could have gone two, three, four, five, six, something like that. Well, he could have gone six, he could have gone here. So this guy could have been here as a brilliant sweeper. 
but instead he wasn't. You can base the ball, can't you? But it's double GFI. <laughs> the thing is, he can't even go there. That would be the normal place to go, but he can just go straight back, so he's... <laughs> he's probably got to go here, right? Yeah, because that's just a 2+. plus. There's literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, on oh, a GFI. Whereas, uh, if he'd gone there, it would have been a 3-2, right? So that, that was... Normally this would be correct, if it was slower, a slower player, but... He's so fast that he should have gone uh, side on. So tight though, wasn't it? It was tight. I actually thought there were more turns left than uh, than there were there, but uh, yeah, Oof. that could have e he could have easily got the stop there, Tapio. Even though I said it was over, it actually wasn't. But yeah, he had to. He, but that's the thing; he had to realise the situation he was in. He had to run that tackle back. Previous turn, so there you go. Another great result from Eliod, king of the league, the absolute champ, the absolute champ. <laughs> but it's dangerous though, Sata, right? If he if he had gone, if he had tried to score, chances are Eliod scores on him, right? Like when uh, when Sick tried the two turn versus me, if if. If I'd had another turn, I would have scored on him, right? Like, it was... It's really dodgy to try for quick scores versus elves. And, uh... It could have ended very... It could have ended worse for him if he'd, uh, If he tried to score. So it's a, just a funny old game, isn't it? Funny old game. But, yeah, I think... Elliot... No, he hasn't won the league yet, has he? I think... I think Elliot hasn't won the league yet. He could lose his last two, and Danton R.I. could win our last two. Would that work? I think he hasn't fully won the league yet. Yeah, four, so he could, he could lose and draw, and then I, and then... Danton or I could win two. So it is technically possible for a good not to win but he is, uh, he is miles. Miles ahead, like, he's almost certainly won the league. But I mean, I thought that from early. Like, got the hard, got some of the hardest games out of the way early on, and, uh, and after that. Was always going to be in pole position. Maybe if I played better, I could have given him a loss. But uh, I played shit. <laughs> Top three get buys, and then also it counts for seeding. Um, so you do want to finish second rather than third as well. So you don't have to face Elliot in the in the semi final. <laughs> but again, like the seeding doesn't matter so much, right? Because like the buy matters a lot because anyone can win a game of Blood Bowl, right? Or kill your team. Two AV breaks in the whole game, but he did make a removal. Four passes. Um, so there you go. Anyway, hopefully, you know, I was a bit, I was maybe he's a bit harsh on Tapio there, but I know he watches, so you know, he can, he can, uh, maybe he's take some things from it, and maybe not. Maybe I was just tired and rambling, and it wasn't such a good. But I, you know, I try, I always try to do the constructive criticism thing. So there you go. Congrats to Elliot. Commiserations to Tapioca King. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.